in this video i've got a massive massive tip for you for defending the bunch formation out of match coverage but first show talk about a little bit about the problem and then i want to share with you the solution to the problem now if you're new to the channel um my name is cody i'm a big fan of match coverage i've been trying to learn as much as i can about it this season and actually have a whole ebook devoted to teaching the basic principles of match coverage and also some advanced tips in terms of how to kind of protect it, how to help it against certain meta formations. And we've got some really, really good stuff in there. So if you wanna get access to that, or if you just wanna get access to my big nickel defense, you get everything for being a Patreon member and it's only $10 to sign up for that. So if you wanna sign up for that, that'll be linked down in the description. You'll be able to get access to all of our Madden 22 offensive and defensive eBooks. And in addition to that, you'll get access to all of our exclusive weekly breakdowns that can help you become a better player. Now, this is something that I was kind of messing with this morning, and I found this out of the cover for quarters. I wanted to share this with you. I think this is super, super huge um, just for the, the way that match coverage can really mess with the the way that bunch can really mess with match coverage. And so dig return is kind of the pinnacle of this. And basically what dig return does is if you come out and streak Godwin, a lot of times he will do this right here. So as you can see, Jair Alexander does this really weird like suction move down and this essentially the zig route is going to suck him down. So I'll show you this in instant replay. Um, so you'll see right here, for whatever reason, this dude like sucks him down like nobody's business. It's absolutely ridiculous. It makes no sense. And this quarter, I mean, I guess it does if they're thinking that he's a vertical route, but it's not, it's a zig route. So, you know, for whatever reason, anyway, he sucks him down. And as you can see, it leaves this open over the top. So it's actually a really simple fix. There's actually two minor things that you can do to make this really, really good. The first and most important thing is if you show blitz out of big nickel over G, if you don't run big nickel over G, I'll show you what you can do. Just move this guy in inside of this slot corner so if this guy is inside the slot corner a lot of times it will help the coverage now the second thing that's really important in my opinion is to make sure that this slot corner will press the the slot receiver if he presses him it does a lot for this coverage so i like to put him in a curl flat just kind of help with the press a little bit and you'll see he gets that little quick reroute and look at this he's bagged all the way up the seam. you can't throw that ball and now your match coverage is kind of running the principle in which it was built on in the first place. So as you can see right there, that was a great way um, for us to, sh to stop this. I'll show it to you one more time. So again, just simply show blitz. And then what I like to do is take this guy right here and you can leave him on this quarter flat, but I like to go ahead and put him on a curl flat. This is more for flood, but it does still have a press coverage in, in it, you know, a, a natural jam in the play. And um, what you'll see here again, he gets a little reroute. And then look, this thing doesn't suck down at all. And as you can see, this is absolutely incredible defense. Now, why is this important? It's important because of a play like PA dig fork. And I'll show you what I'm going to uh, so, so show you real quick. So um, this is so important because if you're defending a play like PA dig fork, what happens is a lot of times this streak to the slot, and I don't know why this happens, but this is just what I've seen. Um, when this inside quarter safety is in a deep half, it can make the bomb significantly, and I mean significantly more open. But when you have this ability to leave that inside quarter, watch that inside quarter. He'll take that streak over the top. Now you have this guy over coming back across from the backside safety that will cut, essentially he'll cut that route. And I'll show that one more time. So again, um, this is a great way to defend PA dig fork. If you just show blitz, You've got this backside guy manned up. This is just helpful for this guy right here more than anything in the, anything else. And then we have our two purple zones. And again, this guy's in prime position. You can move him down if you wanted to um, and bring him into the... But as long as he's inside the hash, I have just found that when he is inside the hash on this, it makes him play a lot better on a lot of different things. So if they run this PA deck fork setup, again, you'll see here, my guy goes to cut him across the formation. And you'll see here, this is probably a catch knockout or a SWAT. Now you might, if you if you are if they're running this a lot, 
what you might do is kind of show blitz and then just maybe move this guy, you know, kind of inside and back off a little bit. Honestly, you should be able to be fine. Just have him right here. Your users over the top of this as well. So you're not like super concerned about things. Look, this is going to be a great little coverage for you, I promise. And like I said, you know, if they're really abusing this, you can, there's some other things you can do. Here you see, we'll give him just a little bit more depth and he'll play this a lot better. And as you can see, that is just exactly what we're looking for. So that's how you can kind of help your match coverage, in my opinion. Uh, just kind of bomb proof it. This is something that I've been I've been doing, and I just think it's very, very helpful. This also helps with things like post routes. So let's say they give you a concept that looks like this because your coverage is still somewhat intact just in terms of how we're going to defend with the inside quarters. We don't have to deep half. The deep half gets sucked outside, but you'll see right here that this one is really good. You get a nice little double team on the post. And um, anyway, so that's what I've been doing. Hope this video was helpful. If you want to learn more about this coverage scheme and more about this defense overall, make sure you get in the Patreon. We have everything broken down for you step by step, exactly how we think, exactly how you want to you want to use it, your reads on defense. Um, we also have a ton of great stuff on offense as well. But thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description of the video and click the link that I put down there and you can go get signed up today.